Hello and welcome to a new edition of DevOps World. Uh, in this edition, we are going to look at a very simple setup, wherein we are going to kind of uh, you know use Jenkins uh, that's deployed locally on your uh, local machine, laptop, or desktop, and uh, use GitHub webhooks to trigger pipelines inside your Jenkins instance. The idea here is to basically save a lot of cloud cost by running Jenkins locally and still be able to get a public facing URL, which is a prerequisite to kind of deliver webhooks, right? So how can you use ngrok and uh, Jenkins and GitHub to actually get a public facing URL and deliver webhooks, right? And then this uh, setup can be used to kind of learn Jenkins and how to build a you know, uh, uh, applications uh, inside Jenkins, how to do CI, CD, and so on. The idea is to kind of save a lot of uh, cloud cost and uh, be able to uh, leverage a local setup uh, on your personal uh, uh, development uh, machine and still be able to kind of uh, uh, simulate an enterprise kind of setup wherein you have, you know, check-ins happening and then webhooks delivering the update or the event to your local uh, running Jenkins instance, which will trigger some kind of a pipeline, right? So we'll do a really simple uh, setup and an example demo so we can see how it works end to end. This will come in very handy if you want to kind of learn uh, Jenkins uh, in a, a personal setup so that, uh, you know, uh, you're ready for the enterprise uh, kind of, you know, situations, right? So let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be the setup for this particular video. On your local uh, uh, host, uh, which could be your laptop or whatever personal uh, computing device you're using, uh, you would uh, need to install Jenkins, uh, GitHub, and ngrok. Uh, all these are free software. ngrok you can get at ngrok.com. Git, uh, obviously, uh, Git is free and also Jenkins, right? Uh, freely available. So you can install these three pieces of software on your local host. And this is a prerequisite here. And uh, uh, in github.com, uh, you can go and create a sample. You can create an account if you don't have one or if you have an account, then just create a sample repo for the sake of this demo. And then uh, once you do that, uh, we will see how you can establish webhooks on that particular repo. Uh, you can go to that repo in the settings section so you can establish web webhook. So let's see how this will play out, right? Uh, first, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jenkins is uh, started on port 8080 or any other port. May it could be 8081 or uh, any other port of your choice. And then uh, you would run this command called ngrok http. 8080, right? This uh, this port over here, HTTP 8080, should match the port on which you are trying to get uh, or deliver your webhooks to. So this should match. 8080 over here should match this one. And what happens when you run this command is that a dynamic URL is created by ngrok, which is a secure URL and a public-facing URL, right? And it's going to be up and running as long as this uh, particular command is up and running. Right, this process is up and running local on the local host. This particular URL will be available. So once you have this URL, uh, what you would do is uh, you, for the sake of this uh, uh, demo, uh, you will have to kind of first set up your credentials in Jenkins, uh, your GitHub credentials, so that Jenkins can communicate with uh, GitHub. Then the next step would be to go to the webhook section uh, on the repo over here. If you go to the settings uh, in the GitHub for, for any repo, you will see a web, webhook section. And in that section, you would basically use this particular dynamic URL that got created as a result of this command. So that's all that's needed to actually, you know, set the whole thing up. Now what we'll do is, uh, we can just do a sample kind of git push uh, from our local uh, machine to GitHub. And that should trigger the webhook, which will result in the event being delivered onto port 8080. So let's get started and uh, you know, let's jump right into the demo section. Let's get started with the demo. 
the first thing we'll do is um, start uh, Jenkins. So we basically will, um, I have Jenkins already installed. So I'm just going to uh, basically restart uh, Jenkins. So let's just uh, restart Jenkins. Uh, and then let me just go show what I have in terms of my Jenkins uh, dashboard. So this is my Jenkins dashboard. So I have, so we are going to look at this uh, webhook uh, uh, pipeline. So in this pipeline, uh, let me just configure, show you what, what it has. It, it, it does pretty much nothing. It kind of just prints uh, uh, hello world, but the first part is I just connect to my GitHub repo over here with my credentials. And then I specify which branch uh, um, you know I'm interested in. And then I have to check this build triggers over here. This is the webhook trigger that you kind of set uh, up in Jenkins. And this is the post build uh, step or the build step basically. Uh, here we are just doing a echo hello world. So once we do a git, uh, git push on this particular repo, uh, uh, it should trigger a webhook and uh, it should uh, result in this particular flow being called and echo hello world being printed, um, uh, you know, uh, as part of the webhook. So now let's also look at the other pieces of software we have installed. So uh, we have ngrok as well installed uh, on my machine over here. Uh, let's see if a version support. So I have ngrok version and then git as well. So I have git as well. So now let's go back to the GitHub portion of uh, the webhook setup. So this is the repo we are going to be basically working with over here. So this is the CI/CD repo. Now in this repo, if I look at the settings section, I have a webhook setup here. So here, this is the webhook. Now I'm going to edit this and get a new URL um, uh, basically for the sake of this particular demo. So what we'll do is um, now we have uh, uh, the Jenkins running on port 8081. In my case, I have something else running on port uh, 8080. So I just uh, chose to run it on 8081. Now what I'll do is uh, I will run ngrok port um, 8081 so I can get a URL. Okay, so that's all I need. Uh, so as you can see, I got a URL over here. So this is the URL I can use for my webhook. So I'll just copy this and then I go back here and I just paste it over here that should be good enough yeah so that is all uh, i need to do i'll update this webhook over here and uh, then let's try uh, doing something with the code uh, so this is just a readme file uh, currently it has just one line here so i will just uh, uh, do a push uh, on this uh, to see you know if we are, we are triggering the uh, webhook. So let's uh, just uh, go, uh, uh, this is the readme file over here. This is the repo. So I'll just uh, edit this readme file and say something. Now, before we do get push, let's just see if uh, we are looking at our webhook here. So we want to see over here, okay? So just uh, let me pull that window. If the webhook is delivered, uh, it should trigger over here. So let's just see, I did a push. Yep, it uh, triggered over here. 
Now let's see when it finishes. Okay, so let's see the output of this one uh, console output. So hello world and it got triggered from this particular repo. So folks, I hope uh, you liked the demo. So this is uh, all it is. So you can actually set up webhooks and you can practice all kinds of, you know, CI CD pipelines with various plugins and so on. You don't need to go into uh, a cloud uh, setup or uh, waste money setting up a public uh, uh, facing URL uh, to get uh, started on learning, uh, you know, uh, things about, uh, you know, J CI CD or Jenkins and so on and so forth. So if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and share um, and uh, please come back for more such videos. Thank you.